Hi there, and welcome to another how-to Photoshop lesson from Quentin Carpenter, Nature of Flowers. Okay, today we're going to look at making a text portrait. So you can see from the image here, I've made a picture of my face. I've added some text over it, and I've made the text see-through to create this really cool text effect. It's being used quite a lot at the moment. It's quite a popular effect, and I'll just show you how to do it. So first of all, we need a photograph of a face. Here it is a picture of my face. You see I've masked out the background and added a black background to create that bold effect for the text to sit on. Next I need to cover off half of it where the text is going to go. So I draw a rectangle over the half I want to hide. I use the paint bucket tool and I make sure I've got the same colour as the background. I click new layer over here, make sure that layer is above where the face is. Click on it and I've now got half a face covered in black. Okay, press Control D to stop the edges flashing. Now I need to use the text tool. I need to make sure I've got the right font so I can choose my fonts here. I've gone for impact because it's quite a big, bold lettering. Um, I can change the sizes as we go, but I will start with the size 100. And I'll make sure that my text is white so I can see what I'm writing. I've also changed the indent so it's coming out on the right hand side. So when I type, it will have a nice effect. So the first word I used was we. I've also got caps lock. Press on typing in capitals. There's my we. So I can put that and I can rescale it to whichever size I would like as I go. And what I'm going to do is put all the typing in first and then I'll clear the words at the end. So the next word was want so I'm going to go back to my detect type tool type in the word want click on the move tool once I've typed it and then I can position it and rescale it to how big I want it to be and make it line up if you do all the text in one go you can't have this fine tuning effect that we're doing now so then it's we want more so Go back to my text tool, type the word more, click on the move tool, move it to where I want it, click on the text tool, check what the next word is, hope, and I wanted this quite big, so I'll write the word hope, click on the move tool, move it where I want it, scale it up so it's much bigger, Put it into that. What I really liked about what I hope was is it covered the eye and you got that glint from the eye coming in. And then we want more hope less, so we want the word less. And more hope less. It's quite small, so make it a bit smaller. And then we want another word, which is fear. Now we've locked down and all the restrictions at the moment, you know, you can really express how you're feeling in your text when you do these responses. And then from this life was the last bit of text. So from this down to the move tool, this is quite small. small position it where we want to there and then life was the last word so we'll type that in like that and that was quite a big one so we'll position that where we want to there we go so that's fairly straightforward. We can spend some time moving them all around. And what we want to do is get the face showing freedom. And there is a really quick little way of doing this. First of all, rather than just clicking on the magic wand tool and click on every letter, which we could do, or the quick select tool and clicking every letter could take ages, I'm going to show you how to do a color range selection. Because they're all in white, if we click on the sample color and it's selected as white, you can see that all the white pieces become selected. We click OK and they will instantly be flashing. Now this is where the fun begins. All we've got to do is hide the eyes from each word that we have just typed. So we just have a flashing outline. Click on our black 
layer that we have just created earlier. And then on the keyboard, we're going to press backspace. Then on the keyboard, we're going to press control D. And now you see we have our amazing word. It's written over a face to create a face portrait. Experiment with different words, different ways of doing it. And you could do it black and white, do it in color. You could do all sorts. Not only can you put faces in here, you could put other things in there. So there are so many options with this really simple technique. So you type the words. Once you type the words, you use the select and the color range, and then you select the color, and then you press backspace. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers. Thank you very much, and goodbye.